<laughs> I just caught this water snake. Okay. So, this is a banded water snake. Hey, sweet. Oh, oh, come here. Come here. So, I'm just going to show you. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, you're beautiful. This, this population has some very pretty water snakes, but people are killing them. It's making me mental. This is really nice. So I'm looking for water snakes. There is a heron rookery out there, blue herons. And I just had a bunch of little painted turtles over here. I spooked some of them. Boy, you have to admire the work of these beavers. reduce us all to a, a literal seep. Okay, now we have Great blue herons, and they got chicks. You can hear the begging the chicks. Sadly, I can't get closer. A lot of painted turtles on this edge. There's blandings too, but painted turtles are super outgoing. Of things like spotted and landings. This is uh, still an area that's pretty much managed and created. Oh, it's an Oriole. An area that's uh, managed by beavers. So you have leopard frogs and you have pickle frogs. You know what? I always get these two confused. So I'm going to say. See if I seem corrected. I don't know. I have like a mental block. Am I hearing country question? Nice big female. Nice I hear a male. Yeah. There's a male in there jittering. Yep. So. Yeah. 
we hear a male courting this big lovely girl. I don't see him. There you go, see there's a male down there. Hi buddy. Where is she? She's over there. No, I know. I'm saying that's what they're saying oh. to each other. <laughs> oh, she's way up there. All right, so let's see. Yeah. There she is. Right about that center. You can see her moving. <laughs> and these poor guys. males acting amorous towards the other one. pheromones get you in trouble. Subdued pattern. Hi, buddy. There you go. 
it's a male, obviously. I'm watching, there's a big female out there. She's right on that log. She just went over out there. She's swimming right to the left. You got me. Right dead center is a male and a female. I don't want to disturb these guys. Any further? So here I am thinking of finding a pair of wood turtles basking. I mean, not basking, breeding. And if you look really close, you're going to notice one head pointing one way and one head pointing the other way. This male's on top of this other one trying to breed, and he's backwards. That's pretty funny. North American wood turtles getting it wrong. This wood pair of wood turtles is still resisting my human encroachment. Unceremoniously rasped. What's interesting is this male, there's a log right there and he's dead center. He just goes right under there, and just waits out the obnoxious human. And I will just leave. She slowly moves on. It seems like a lot of these females are getting harassed by these males. And they're not ridiculously receptive. They're probably at this point already gravid. And uh, it could be copulation and laying about 30 days. Because you're not finding these guys laying eggs the end of May, beginning of June. roads are taking these guys out real easily. So one thing I have noticed is if they have ample basking and they have fields, because they, they come out, they're largely terrestrial. They're going to hunt a lot of insect life and whatnot. And uh, so this female has now seen me. <laughs> so her and the male are now hiding under this log, just waiting for me to go away. But as long as we have uh, power lines and fields adjacent to what I hear in New Hampshire, uh, wide open, shallow running brooks, a lot of rocks, sandy edges, grassy edges, which is what they like. They'll stay in these areas, but as they become overgrown and the basking opportunities go down, I seem to find them possibly more up on the roads or in areas where they need daylight 
to heat up and that gets them in trouble. So I think one of the most important things about these guys, as far as their conservation of areas, is also make sure that they have ample backing conditions that keep them in these streams. And of course, you know, their food sources in the streams too. You know, they're gonna eat crayfish and snails and fish up as males out. He's decided that I'm boring. So he's coming out right there. Definitely, um, as I've been watching these guys for years, more tolerant, which is nice for observing them. Uh, as long as people aren't taking them, stealing them, and being tolerant, a little bit of humans, especially in this area where there's, it's in a, it's in a neighborhood. It's probably a, I don't know if there's a, a benefit. There he goes. It's going down there. These guys can really hold a breath. And he'll just park himself and I will go and leave. And that female stays right there in the 